My name is William Edward Johnson. I'm an artist, a visual artist. I do painting, painting, print, make print, make mix, me, mix, media drawing. I teach at Virginia State. Painting, painting, print, make print, make mix, me, mix, media drawing. Okay, we're gonna go straight into a 15-minute pose. When a student gets to the point where you're working on one side, he's beginning to understand and see through wisdom. See how he's got those nice curves right there? That is trying to be passed on to him. Uh, it's a great feeling. Look at the folds. Working on shading, working on, on, on taking those flat shapes and turning them into three-dimensional form. Also, I talk to them about working together as a team. Real nice. I like that. Talking to each other talking to each other about their own ideas and letting them know that you're not into this art making business by yourself. So think about all those things. I also talk to them about uh, listening to your instructors and pushing your instructors because everything that you think that they are doing to you in the wrong, a lot of times they think that instructors are just giving us a whole lot of busy work to do. And I said, in order for you to become an artist and you're saying that you want to be in the art world, you need to work hard. You really need to start listening and looking at other artists and what they are doing. And also, look at what you are doing. Ask your classmates what you are doing. Look in and criticizing your work. Don't, don't put yourself in a box. Get out of that box and look at work. Look at landmarks, where the elbows and the arms bend. Looking at the shoulders, are they even? Don't forget to get that other side in there, okay, so you can balance it off. Wonderful. There's a whole lot of artists out here creating a whole lot of good stuff. I like this one because it really looks like he's got the weight on his hands. I've been encouraging them to fine tune their drawing skills, Definitely. Points have gotten a lot stronger. Exactly. To look at more art. A competition is real tough out here. I'm trying to get them to understand that in order to get in the mix, you really got to perfect your crafts. So keep working, keep thinking about what we've been looking at over the last month, a couple of months or so. I live art. I love wood frames. When I come home at the end of a day, I want to create art that people can really enjoy. When I start a new piece of work, it goes through many stages. Um, I will do a whole lot of study drawings. I will collage to collage them back together, just working and building in value. It really gives a different focus. This is where I work at right here. You know, I'm always in here doing something. This is a piece that I've been working on for a while. Subject matter has been a little girl um, who is dressed in African attire and American attire, but a dress with some African patterns in it. It's real important to me to be able to identify who they are you know, what kind of life did they live. And in the background, there's um, starting a church. The more I work, I think of images like in the church, images of, of people enjoying themselves, letting the world know African Americans are just like everybody else. I try to make my work also be a part of a storytelling, passing on the story. Usually when I start painting or working, especially painting, I usually just take the paint and draw with it. As an artist, I have been thinking about who I am and where I come from and who are my ancestors. One of the things that I talk about with my kids as well is telling the story. Who are you? Where are you coming from? Nobody will understand what you're going through until you tell them. So I think that if we can pull together the community through art by telling the story, then we've done a great job.
painting, painting, print, make, print, make, mix me, mix me, drawing. I teach at Virginia State.